Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raisa and today I'll be showing you how to get this super easy, smoky, glittery brown eye and this lip combination. So if you want to see how I did this, please keep watching. So today I'm going to be using this palette right here. This is the Dose of Colors and Desi and Katie Friendcation palette. Um, and I'm going to be creating that really nice sparkly halo eye. Um, so the first color I'm picking up is this color right here, the light brown, in the shade Necessary, and I'm just blending that into my crease. Now I'm picking up this shade right here. Um, this is Churro? No. Yes. Yes. Um, so I'm picking up this shade. I'm picking up Churro. And I'm going to put that in the crease again just to darken it up. And the basis of this is just to get like a really nice gradient from like a dark brown all the way up to like a nice bone color. Now that the crease is done, I'm taking the Morphe G18 brush, which is a smaller bullet brush, and I'm taking this dark brown shade in Chains, so this one right here, and what I'm going to do is place it on the outer third and then the inner thirds of the eye and try to blend it in just like in the crease in the middle. And this is pretty much just setting it up to be like a, a smoky halo eye. And that's pretty much it. There's really no precision to it, just place it down, blend it out just a little bit, and you should be good to go. And then the same thing on the other eye. And now all that's left to do really is just blend everything together and I'm using that same Morphe R40 and picking up just a little bit of this first color and just blending away. And now the last thing for the lid is to take this shade right here, which is just a kiss. It's a really nice like sparkly golden color, like a light gold. And I'm just using my finger for this, but you want to put this color on the center where you didn't put any eyeshadow and kind of feather it out towards both ends. And you really can, be super messy with it. There's no need to be super precise. I pretty much just put it kind of all over, but concentrate it on the middle.
Now the golden eyeshadow is pretty much done, so I'm taking the little bullet brush and just blending a little bit more and bringing that dark brown back in. That's pretty much it for the lid. Um, I think I am going to just line a little bit, like keep my liner very close to my lash line because I don't want to add a super dramatic wing at all. I just want a little bit so that my lashes can blend in. And to do the eyeliner, I'm using the Tarte Clay Paint Liner and this really thin eyeliner brush from Morphe. This is the M250. So now for the lower lash line, I'm first going to line my waterline with this pencil. This is the LA Girl Endless Lip Liner, or I guess it's a lip liner. I'm just going to use it as an eyeliner in the shade Coco. And it's just a light brown color. Now taking a bullet brush, this is a Morphe Y22, I'm going to pick up the light brown and then the medium toned brown and I'm just going to run that on the lower lash line. Taking this dark brown chains, I'm going to just put that in the outer corner of the lower lash line. Now I'm just grabbing a highlighter. This is the I Love Saturday and Dose of Colors um, highlighter in Soulmate. And using a little tiny brush, I'm just putting that in the inner corners. That's pretty much it for the eyeshadow, so I'm just going to go in with the L'Oreal Lash Voluminous, no, the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and then once I have that on, I'm going to be using the Lily Lashes Lashes in the style Opulence. So I will be right back once I've put on mascara and my lashes. So the lashes are on, which means the eye look is pretty much complete, and now all that's left to do is the lips. So using that eyeliner or lip liner that I used on the lower lash line, I'm actually going to line my lips with it. And I'm also actually going to fill my lips in with the same lip liner. Now on top of the lip liner, because it is really dark right now, I'm going to use this lipstick. This is the Makeup Forever um, Artist Rouge Matte Lipstick in M101. So that's pretty much it for the eyes and the lips. The last thing to do is just brush off all this extra powder and that should be it. Now to make sure I don't look too powdery because I did bake for a while, I'm gonna spray MAC Fix Plus all over my face. 
So that's pretty much it for this makeup look. If you guys like how it turned out, um, please give this video a like and leave a comment down below of what you want to see next. And if you decide to recreate it, feel free to tag me in it. I'd love to see you guys recreating it. And if you do want to see how I got this base, um, I'm going to be uploading a video right after this on how to get a super flawless full coverage base. So keep your eyes out for that. Thanks for watching. Bye.